Istanbul residents on their way to work, potentially running a gauntlet of infection. Yet President Recep Tayyip Erdogan insists the economy cannot be shut down, worrying even some in the business community. Businesses should all be closed. But if they are closed, stores like mine will not be able to pay their rents, cover the expenses for their personnel. There is no clear explanation for what the solution can be. I think our government also got caught in a financially difficult situation. That's why I think they will be postponing the shutdown as much as they can to win time. While resisting calls for a complete lockdown, the Erdogan government is enforcing a curfew on those under 20-year-olds and for those older than 65. Despite this, infections and deaths from the coronavirus continues to rise, with Istanbul at the epicenter. In a bid to stop the spread of the virus, Istanbul city authorities have distributed masks and reduced public transport hours. Meanwhile, Istanbul Mayor Ekrem Imamoglu is calling for a complete shutdown of the city, saying too many people are still on the streets. The 15% mobility in Istanbul means more than 2 million people, and this is very frightening. It is as much as the population of a large city in Europe. It is clear this current mobility is posing a threat, and this is why we say that we need a strict measure. While the number of deaths remains in the low hundreds, the speed of the infections appears to be accelerating, as has happened in other countries that serve as a warning for Turkey. But shutting down Turkey's largest city might be a price too high to pay, say analysts. We are shutting down the industry with potentially four or five million workers. And even if the law doesn't dictate it, uh, ethics uh, as well as good governance would dictate that you pay some kind of uh, compensation to these people so they don't starve or protest on the streets. And the budget equation becomes unmanageable. Yet with infections spreading, time may be running out for Istanbul and the country to find the right balance for combating the virus. Doreen Jones for VOA News, Istanbul.